What's up guys, it's Rob, so I, I got some cool shit today. I got something new, a new subwoofer. I don't have any use for it, we're not putting it in any of the vehicles that I currently have. I thought it was cool, I got it for a great price. So I, I bought it, it was from a customer. Um, he just came into the shop one day looking to see if anybody wanted to buy him because um, a buddy of his, when he lived in Florida, owned a stereo store, the place closed down. He got some free equipment and he just had it throughout the years. And in the box, it looks like it has been installed because there's some screw, uh, some scratches around the screw holes. Um, so I think it was installed with the voice coils in perfect condition. Um, and I'll show you what, guys, how I can tell that. Right here is actually the model number of the Sub LS152. And we're gonna go ahead, open up the box. And it is a 15 inch Sub. Pretty small box, it is a shallow mount woofer as well. But, we open this baby up, and we just have a little slice of awesomeness. This is a full carbon fiber cone right here. Carbon fiber woven. And then right here, guys might be saying, what the fuck? Where's the dust cap? No dust cap on here. This is actually the Neo Magnet. Uh, this is a Neo subwoofer, so it's extremely light maybe weighs about 10 to 15 pounds this is the magnet right here and let me bring this into into some better light and as you guys can see right there that is the voice coil and it has a perfect red, uh, darkish red color to it uh, which is how they come from the factory um, critical mass is the company that makes this sub and here are these screw holes I was telling you about. You guys see how the paint's been uh, been chipped right there. So I do think that this woofer has been installed at some point, but I don't think it was ever used. I did test the woofer, it does play. Um, I didn't give it a lot of power though. I only gave it you know, probably 100 watts or so. Um, single voice coil woofer. Um, see the critical mass on the back over here. Negative terminal, positive terminal. Um, propylene uh, co uh, cone underneath I believe like propylene coated uh, but you guys saw it was full carbon fiber woven this sub is beautiful let me uh, flip it over again to show you guys the spider there's the spider nice just black spider tinsel leads in there hard to get good uh good angles like this without it being being too dark and that's you know the critical mass 15 inch shallow mount neo woofer um the only thing that was wrong with this when i bought it is right here the voice uh the cone came separated from the uh this paper right here that moves the voice coil up and down uh so i repaired that uh, but other than that, the woofer is perfectly fine. So what do you guys think about that sub? Do you guys like it? Do you guys hate it? Uh, do you guys think I should maybe build a box for it and try to hear how it really sounds? So I, I heard it free air and maybe 100 watts. I was reading online that these things could take about 650 to 700 watts. But here's the kicker. I don't know how much that that's actually worth because... I can't find them online really for sale anywhere. I saw one person on a forum uh, a couple of years ago offering, I think, I believe, three fifty to sell to, uh, one of them. I was selling two, and they were three fifty each. I think is what he was offering. Um, and then I saw somebody on OfferUp. Uh, it was a random OfferUp ad I saw, and somebody was uh, selling one for like eighty bucks or something. So I'm assuming they didn't know what they had. But Critical Mass has some high-end products. If you guys search up Critical Mass subwoofer on uh, Google pretty quickly you'll find that they have one that's worth fifteen thousand dollars so with a company like that I'm assuming that this has to be worth something decent um, so if you guys know anything about this woofer that I might not know um, or any useful information you know maybe you leave a link to it in the in the comments I'll check it out um, or just let me know about it let me know your guys thoughts in the comments below because I definitely want to want to know what you guys think about this sub because I bought it strictly just because I thought it looked cool regardless if it played or not, I was going to buy it. You know, even if the sub was blown, I still wanted to buy it just because I thought it looked cool. I like the way it looked. It's different. I like having it. Um, I don't Like I said, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Maybe I'll build a box for it, put it on a fucking display. Who knows? Um, but yeah, just let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. 
Um, check me out on Instagram, Rob's Bass. I, honestly, I posted a picture of this on Instagram like two months ago, so you guys would have seen it if you know you guys followed me. But um, as always, guys, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and all that cool shit you guys do for me here on YouTube. This is Rob, and I'm out. Peace, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I got my own weed sucker, so I ain't gotta hit yours. I'm talking straight in, though.